The all-new 2024 new generation Mercedes-AMG GTC versus Porsche 911 Turbo The Mercedes-AMG GTC aims to offer on-the-edge thrills in an everyday package, but how does it perform against the Porsche 911 Turbo? The Mercedes-AMG GT has evolved heavily over its short three-year lifespan. Development has continued from the standard model and the S to the hardcore, race-inspired GTR and now there's the GTC. This sits more towards the center of the range, between the S and the R, but does that mean it's also the sweet spot? It takes some of the R's makeup, including the rear wheel steering, a wider track and an enlarged body to cover it, and has a new engine tune that means more power compared with the GTS. However, performance cars like this come at a price. At 130,530 pounds, the GTC isn't exactly a snip, while that figure also puts it perilously close to one of its main rivals, the Porsche 911 Turbo. Both use turbocharged engines and dual-clutch gearboxes and mix scintillating performance with GT credentials, but there are some distinct differences with the recipe, as we'll find out as the two go head-to-head. -head. The Porsche 911 Turbo costs slightly less than the AMG GTC, at £129,987, but a difference of £543 is negligible in this market. While our pictures show a Turbo S, the standard turbo is also a bit down on power, so does this hobble it against the AMG? The turbo's engine produces 533 bhp and a colossal 710 Nm of torque. This latter figure is made slightly higher up than in the Mercedes, but thanks to the Porsche's variable geometry turbochargers, lag is basically non-existent. Combined with four-wheel drive and launch control, the turbo rocketed off the line and onto 60 miles per hour in an astonishing 2.8 seconds, 8 tenths faster than the AMG. In Sport Plus mode the gear shifts are even faster than the GTCs, yet the PDK box is just as competent as an auto in the standard drive mode. In gear the Porsche wasn't quite as quick as the Mercedes, but on the road the 911 delivers devastating performance, because you can use more of it more of the time thanks to the four-wheel drive system. That exhaust gives the AMG a great soundtrack. The Porsche can't match its raucous personality and it's the engine that gives this car its incredible character. In race mode the throttle response is sharp, with little turbo lag. It's matched by an engine that growls before building to a rampant bark. Pull the gearshift paddle and the box slots home a new ratio with speed and aggression to reset the engine's onslaught. With 549 bhp and 680 Nm meters of torque from just 1,900 revolutions per minute, performance is scintillating. The gearing is shorter than in the 911, so the car took 4.4 seconds to accelerate from 50 to 70 miles per hour in seventh, even if it was closer in the lower gears. Yet with only the rear wheels to lay that power down, even with launch control it wasn't as fast as the turbo from 0 to 60 miles per hour, taking 3.6 seconds. It's still incredibly rapid, though. The AMG's steering is similarly aggressive. The quick setup means that the long, low nose darts assertively towards an apex with only a little movement from off-center. It doesn't offer the most feel and combined with the sometimes slightly nervous-feeling chassis, the package doesn't always gel. That rear wheel steering is noticeable in slower corners, helping turn the car, but it has another benefit, as we'll see. The motor has its own personality, but it's not as overt or effervescent as the AMG's V8. It whirs and whooshes away behind you, yet revs hard like the Mercedes, even if the oral signature lets the Porsche down a little when the two models are back-to-back. -back. It puts clear distance into its competitor with the chassis. The damping feels more sophisticated and more controlled, giving a more stable platform to inspire more confidence. In the PDCC's standard setting it's mostly comfortable and compliant, but it still thumps over bumps a little. With the active roll engaged it feels flatter through faster bends and more rigidly controlled, but not as compliant. In the GTC, 
The AMG character we know and love is present. However, the chassis can't match the 911's delicacy. Compared with the turbo it's not as accessible, as nuanced nor as forgiving, so doesn't deliver the same heights when it comes to driver reward, even if it does offer a double dollop of addictive V8 muscle and a delicious soundtrack. The 911 Turbo proves its dominance, blending performance, usability and handling. Its adjustability and balance are matched by huge traction, plus the damping is sweeter than the AMG's. This makes it more comfortable, while it's more refined, cheaper to run and slightly more practical. Better infotainment means the Porsche trumps the GTC in this encounter.